Hey, what's good everyone? Welcome back to Papercut. Today we're talking about free password managers or specifically KeePass. PC Mag's got this rated as one of the best free password managers of 2017. So let's hop in and check it out. All right, we're gonna knock this out in four steps. We'll go out and download it, install it, we'll set it up, and like always, we'll test it. Step one, let's go ahead and download it. All right, let's grab KeePass. Open up your browser and type in KeePass. What you're looking for is this icon right here. Select the site, go underneath getting KeePass and click on downloads. Grab the most current installer and click on download. It's a small file, it will only take a couple of seconds and then select save. From here in the right hand corner, we can see the download is complete. Step two, let's go ahead and install it. Open up your file explorer and go to your download folder. Double click on the key pass setup. Windows will ask you for permission, say yes. Close the file explorer and let's begin the install. Choose your language of choice. I will leave it on English and I will hit okay. Read through your user agreement and after you have done so, accept the agreement. Hit next. Choose exactly what you want to be installed. I will leave it as it is and hit next. Choose if you want any shortcuts. I will place one directly on the desktop and I'll hit next. Finally, we get a summary of everything that we have selected. From here, you would choose to install. Now I've already done this, so I'm gonna hop into the next step, which is setup. Double click on the shortcut that was created. KeePass will begin to compile and then ask you if you want to enable automatic update checks. Click on enable. It will run a quick check and now we're into KeePass. To create a database, click on file and click on new. Go ahead and select OK. And now you need to choose where your database will be stored. In my case, I created a paper cut folder within my documents folder. Once you have chosen where you want to store your database, create a file name. I will use master P. Once you've named your database, click save. From here, you need to create a master password. All right, in our case, we're gonna go ahead and create a very simple password so I can remember this as we go through the demo. And we're gonna use ABC. If you ever need to see your password, select the eclipse. After you've entered your password, go ahead and repeat your password and then go ahead and hit okay. Finally, we just need to name the database again and select OK. Here you can see that KeePass wants us to print the information that we just entered. It is a good idea, but in this case, for the demo, I will click on Skip. All right, we can see KeePass created two sample entries and some subfolders. I'm gonna take a second to clean this all up so we can have one folder called Master P. And there we go, nice and tidy, one folder called Master P. To add an entry, right click in the main window and click on add entry. The first thing you need to do is title your entry. I'm gonna use my Gmail account, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. After you titled your entry, you'll need to enter in the username for the site that you're going to access. Once you've entered in your username, go ahead and enter in your password. If you need to see your password, go ahead and click on the eclipse. If you wanna change your password, go ahead and click on the generator. From here, you can actually generate multiple different size passwords. You can also open the generator and include or exclude anything that you want from your password. Now, since I'm gonna enter my password, I'm gonna go ahead and hide it from you and do so. Once you put in your password, you need to go out to the site that you're going to access and grab the URL. I'll do this by opening a browser and typing in Google. I'll select Google and then go out to their sign-in page. Once there, I'm gonna go up to the top of the browser. I'm gonna highlight the URL and hit Control C minimize the browser and hit control V to paste the URL. I use the notes section for any secondary information. For example, if the site requires your mother's maiden name or your friend from 25 years ago, this is where I would put that. The last thing you can do is actually set an expiration date. This is not void the entry. It does not disable the entry. It just reminds you that you should change your password. For this entry, I'll check expire and I'll set it to six months. Finally, I'll hit okay. The last thing you need to do is save the entry and you have now added your first entry. Step four, let's test it. 
All right, now that we have it set up, let's go ahead and test it. I'll do this three different ways. First, I'll use a copy and paste method. Second, I'll use a browser extension. And third, I'll use a mobile device. All right, first, copy and paste. So for the copy and paste method, KeePass actually did something pretty cool. When you double click on your username or your password, KeePass will copy the information to your clipboard for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, it will delete the information. This is really nice when you're trying to copy and paste your username or password into the site you're trying to gain access to. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Notepad and demonstrate this. I'll double click on the password, grab Notepad and begin to paste. As soon as that timer runs up though, I will no longer be able to paste. I'll remove the information, begin to paste again, and you'll notice that once the timer's up, we no longer can paste the password anymore. So a pretty cool solution, but not ideal. You're not gonna use this every single time. The browser extension. Okay, for the browser extension, we already have our browser still open. So go ahead and grab that again. Click on your settings and go to add-ons. Then go to extensions and underneath the extension, search for Keyfox. Once you've found Keyfox, go ahead and install it. You can now see the browser is asking permission to install Keyfox. I will say add. What's happening here is KeePass wants to authorize Mozilla to access our usernames and passwords. To grant Mozilla access, I'm gonna come down to KeePass where there is now another window open. I'm gonna grab the actual password and hit Control C. I'm gonna go back to my browser and hit Control V and I will hit connect. Now, since we still have the site open, I'm just gonna go back to that and show you that KeePass is actually gonna fill in our information for us. There you go, it popped in the username. If I were to hit next, it would then pop in our password. So a way more ideal solution for logging into your websites on a daily basis. Mobile device. So for the mobile version, open up Google Play and type in KeePass. You're looking for this app right here and go ahead and install it. The next step is to copy the database that you created earlier to your phone. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up KeePass. Go to your folder icon and navigate to that file. Then go ahead and click on open. You'll be prompted to enter your password. Now we can see that we have the same information that we had before, this time on a mobile device. All right, that was KeePass. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like and share this and I'll catch you next time.